What do you need to know about cagrillantide? That is a medication that is on the horizon. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Megan. I'm a doctor, I'm a life coach, and I help people with their weight. I'm board certified in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And I also help people around the world with the non-medical aspects of their weight. So if you're maxed out on your GLP-1 and you're like, now what do I do? or you want to avoid GLP-1s completely in the future, I can help you with that. So I will leave all the info down below, but let's get started on cagrillantide. So cagrillantide is on the horizon as something that will likely be approved in the near to semi-near future for weight medication. And it's made by Novo Nordisk and it is not a GLP-1 medication. So cagrillantide is an ana amylin analog, uh, meaning it's a synthetic type of amylin that is, amylin is a peptide that is released from the pancreas, um, much like insulin, but it it's not insulin. It's just released from um, the same cells as insulin is. It works to help people lose weight in a couple different ways. So, um, and it's not a GLP-1. So um, it works on the GI system to help slow uh, stomach emptying, um, much like the GLP-1s. And it also suppresses the release of glucagon um, in the pancreas. And glucagon uh, is, a, is a peptide that, at, that helps the liver release a lot of sugar. So it decreases um, the availability of that glucagon um, from um, being released in the pancreas. It also works with um, insulin and leptin, which are um, key mediators of satiety and fullness. And it probably works in the brain in terms of that energy balance regulation. So that that fine balance between energy burning and energy storage, it most likely has a role in that as well as um, has a role in the reward pathways. So it interestingly works on multiple different pathways in a very similar way to GLP-1s, but it's not a GLP-1. And the results for this are very promising. Um, I will leave some studies down below that you can certainly do a deep dive into, but most likely it is going to be released as a combination medication with semaglutide. Now, semaglutide is made by Novo Nordisk, cagrillantide is made by Novo Nordisk, Nor Novo Nordisk and what is likely um, going to be released is what's called Cagrisema, which is a blend of the two. In terms of expected weight loss with the combination for cagrillantide plus semaglutide, um, it's very promising. So. Um, probably around like 15 to 17%. Um, but of course there is a lot more research that is going to come out around this, but preliminary data is extremely promising. Um, and what it looks like right now is maybe total body weight loss somewhere between Wagovi and Zepbound. But again, um, pending more data as well. So consider this your heads up if you are not aware of Cagrisema or cagrillantide plus semaglutide. Um, cagrillantide is something that is on the horizon and combined with semaglutide. It does seem to be a very promising medication that we may be hearing a lot more about in the near future. So let me know what else you would like to hear about this. I will leave the studies down below if you want to look more into that. Um, but I'd love to talk more about this medication as well. So let me know what you want to hear about. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, my references will be listed down below and please be well.